Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring you to uh, 1951, not but a few years after this song had came out. It was written about in a book called The American, The America I Have Seen by Saeed Kutub. He writes, the dance hall convulsed to the tunes on the gramophone and the uh, and was full bounding feet and seductive legs. I add that this book was written by an Egyptian national who came to college in Greeley, Colorado. I continue with Kutub's words. Arms circled waist, lips met lips, chests met chest, and the atmosphere was full of passion. And here is, before I get to the one moment that will break your brain, why I think this song is ultimately good. Not only does it tell a very, very specific story, and maybe a dated story, but it is a sweet song at the end of it. And it gets to the root of a, of, of a romantic dynamic that, although people might not be comfortable with, and I will certainly concede to you, has not aged gracefully, is at least a, a story where people come together. It is a, a cute yet seductive song, and that is a hard line to walk. There's a reason why it stayed around for so long, and there's a reason why it's so popular. It's a Christmas standard for a reason, and it deserves to be such. And, it ex and for this man, in 1951, he saw the power of it, that men and women came together, they kissed, they loved, they shared the Christmas experience in a uniquely American way to an American song. Unfortunately, Saeed Kutu looked at this in a very, very, very negative way. I read from the Wikipedia, uh, and this comes from the only book you ever need to read uh, about a certain event, which I will reveal at the end. Uh, it's called The Looming Tower. Wright records how this song uh, helped the anti-American feelings of Kutu. Lawrence Wright wrote uh, The Looming Tower. Uh, Kutub, having written this book, came to Egypt even more radicalized. Kutub was part of the Muslim Brotherhood when he returned to Egypt, was imprisoned twice, and executed in 1966. Wright recounts the effects of Kutub on Mufuz Azam, whom Kutub instructed in the third grade. Azam's similar effect on the fatherless nephew of Ivan al-Zwahari, the current head of Al-Qaeda. The book, The America I Have Seen, which includes the passage I've just read to you, with him describing his horrified reaction to the love and beauty of people being brought together by baby it's cold outside was one of the founding documents of radical Islam and specifically Al-Qaeda for which brought 9-11 to our shores. Merry Christmas to you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, baby it's cold outside helped inspire Al-Qaeda and 9-11. There we go. Boomtown Rats. <laughs>